Hi there, I'm Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition and welcome to our little video series on the fundamentals of fitness. So where to begin, where to begin? Well, I guess a good place would be at the beginning. So let's start out with some anatomy 101. I don't know why everybody doesn't do this, but over the next few videos I want to go over some very basic anatomy and some very common anatomical terms so that you will know what things are and where they are if you happen to come across them. Now don't go expecting to help your local ER surgeon perform any operations next week, but these next few videos on anatomy will show you the very basics that you need to know. The beautiful thing about the human body is that it is quite adaptable. And to a certain extent, you can sculpt your body to achieve a certain look that you desire. There are somewhere around 640 muscles in your body. So let's go over some of the major ones that you may wish to train to alter your physique. Now what I'm going to do for this video is give you the name of the muscle and where it is. I'm not going to confuse you with all the actual origin insertions, but what I'm going to do is highlight the muscle and show how it will affect the look of your physique. And I will also quickly mention the actions of that muscle. And don't worry, I will show you what those actions are in the next video. So, here we go. There are more muscles to your core than just your rectus abdominis, but this will be a good starting point. The rectus abdominis is the six-pack that everyone is questing for. Your abs are responsible for flexing and can rotate the lumbar region of your vertebral column. The bulk of your chest is made up of the pectoralis major. Your pecs are responsible for shoulder flexion, internal rotation, and adduction of your arm. The main muscle that you notice for your shoulder is the deltoid. The deltoid has a wide range of motion, which includes flexion, extension, abduction, and some rotation of the arm. Keep in mind that the deltoid also has fibers that are seen from the side and from the rear, which many people too often neglect. The muscles of the rotator cuff connect your arm to your scapula, which is the shoulder blade. Subscapularis provides internal rotation, supraspinatus abduction, infraspinatus, external rotation, and teres minor, external rotation with some weak adduction. Even though teres major, which is a little more red in this picture, is not part of the rotator cuff, it is a noticeable muscle of the rear shoulder area and is responsible for adduction and internal rotation of your arm. The rhomboids are the main muscles at the center of your back. There are two of them, the rhomboid major and minor, which retract, elevate and immediately rotate the scapula. If you're looking for thickness in the center of your back, it's the rhomboid that you want to train. The latissimus dorsi muscle, or your lats, is what gives you that wide back. It's the muscle that gives you that nice V shape. They connect from your lower back to your arm. Your lats are responsible for adduction, internal rotation, and extension of the arm. Your trapezius muscle, your traps, is the muscle that gives you those bumps by your neck. It is a large muscle that is responsible for elevation, retraction, and upward rotation of the scapula. Your traps also play a role in the movement of your neck. Your triceps are located on the posterior portion of your arm. They are responsible for the extension of your shoulder, some rotation, but they are the main extensor of the forearm. The bicep flexes and supinates the forearm and is also a weak flexor of the shoulder. There are other flexors of the forearm, like the powerful brachialis, but it's the biceps that seems to get everyone's attention. I just want you to notice that the bulk of the arm is made of the triceps, and you always want to train your muscles evenly, but it always seems that guys looking to add mass to their arms solely focus on the biceps, which is a huge mistake. The anterior compartment of your forearm consists mostly of flexors for your wrist and for your digits. The posterior compartment of your forearm consists mostly of extensors for your wrist and for your digits. The main muscles that you will notice on the anterior portion of your thigh are the quadriceps. There are four muscles there, the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and vastus medialis. They are responsible for flexion of your knee joint. The main muscles of the inner thigh are known as the adductors. Pectineus, adductor brevis, adductor longus, and adductor magnus, gracilis, and obturator externus. The three gluteal muscles, gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus, are the muscles of your butt. They extend and abduct the hip as well as stabilize the pelvis. The main muscles of the posterior thigh are known as the hamstrings, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and biceps femoris. They are responsible for the extension of the hip and flexion of the knee joint. The main muscle of the posterior lower leg that you will notice is the calf muscle, the gastrocnemius. It aids in knee flexion and plantar flexion of the ankle joint. I know that this was a very quick and superficial review of some of the major muscles in the human body, but at least you'll know what they look like and where they are in an actual person. Then you could choose whether or not to develop certain muscles to sculpt the physique that you desire. 
This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And if you like these videos, then please click below to like to subscribe. And thanks for tuning in.